This is the Monday Morning Racer, Lee Craft. I'm in Bernhards Bay, New York, and let's check out, go inside to Rolling Chassis right now. <laughs>
that was a great shower. Folks, look, if you've been out at the track, been enveloped in burnout smoke, wafted by nitromethane fumes, been hit with the dirt, the grime, or the rubber chunks of the track, you want a good shower experience at the end of the day. And look, don't worry about getting anything off the shelf from the supermarket. Rather, if you want a great shower experience, you need to pick up Hero Soap from Hero Soap Company. Now, Hero Soap is all natural, essential oils infused soap made by veterans. And those veterans, by the proceeds in which they make, also help other veterans. Not only that, but if you purchase Hero Soap from Hero Soap Company with the link provided in the description of this video, you can help Monday Morning Racer. Use that link, use promo code MMR, and subscribe to a company that's owned by veterans, supporting veterans, supporting Monday Morning Racer, and it will give you a great product to give you a great shower experience where you will smell good, feel good, and know that you're even a hero by buying from Hero Soap Company. Thanks, guys. Monday Morning Racer, we're here in the shop of Rolling Chassis with Ben Gregory in Bernhards Bay, New York. Ben, look, you have got an awesome facility here. Tell me, what is it like having this street rod, hot rod, race car shop in upstate New York? It's pros, it's cons. What's it like? Well, it's really a good place to uh, have a car built. We've been uh, um, here for quite a while doing um, building chassis and suspensions. Uh, started out in drag racing years ago, uh, building cars for folks, and it uh, just kind of uh, stepped up to building street rods and custom and classic cars. The, um, the area is a great area to work in. I've been here for um, quite a while and um, we get people from all over the country come here and have work done. Um, just, a, just a great place to, uh, to have a car built. Uh, we have everything that you need here to build anything that you want and um, all the machinery and equipment to, to build all kinds of different builds here. Great, Ben. I'm glad you're having a successful business here in upstate New York in the car culture world. How did it all begin, though? Where did Ben get this bug of the street rotting, drag racing, car culture world? When I was 13 years old, my neighbor took me to the drag strip to see my first drag race, and I got caught ever since. All those early cars going down the track and uh, just the screaming motors and um, kids sitting in the stands there watching that go on and going out and being involved with a friend of mine that had a race car there, or, or my mentor that actually took me to the tracks, um, was just an amazing thing back in the day to see this. And I'm like, that's what I want to do. I want to go race. I want to drag race. Um, I want to be involved with cars and things that happen that way. I would always loved cars. I've always been around them. Um, as a kid back in the day, I can remember in Buffalo sitting on a corner um, watching the cars go by when I was seven, eight years old and trying to name the different brands of cars and stuff. Always loved the, uh, the automobiles, the looks of them and things. And um, it just progressively stepped up. Uh, I, uh, I had a one car garage and I started building my own car in the garage to go drag racing, which was an 11 second car at the time. Uh, big tire, small motor. Um, uh, went out there and raced that car had a ball with it for years. And then eventually a person, one person at a time, somebody would start coming to me and saying, hey, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Can you build me um, a chassis or do some suspension work or build an interior? And I was like, yeah. And so over the time, I, over years, I started to learn um, uh, what to do to these cars. And I would go out and um, go to the racetracks and see what other people were building. and got a hold of other manufacturers and I went all over the country touring other guys' shops and seeing who did what and how they did it. And I think I bought every magazine that there was on the rack to read it um, day and night to, uh, to learn. And I just, it was just an entire, uh, uh, my whole life has been building these cars and being involved in doing this and having a good team around me to do the work that needs to be done. So, um, and it, and it, Progressed, I moved here in um, 85 and opened this shop up. It was two and a half car garage. I had uh, 40 amps of power in the shop. I had no insulation in the shop. We had no heat. I had a wood stove we put in. We'd feed it. I'd wear a snowmobile suit. I had three major cars that came into my shop, which was uh, um, 
Joe Vescuccio's 48, who at the time it was Tony Polano's uh, 48 Fiat, and did a body on that, and a uh, car for Billy Caprera, and did uh, a chassis, and or did a bunch of uh, tin work and suspension work in that car for him, and um, we were just, just started getting busy, and over the years, it's just, I build another car, go to the races, race it, sell the car, build another car, and just keep putting my money back into the business and keep expanding and expanding, and that's where we are today. We just, a lot of, uh, a lot of time and effort and every penny I've ever made in this business has gone right back into it to get it to where it is today so that my guys in the shop can carry on in the future with it and continue to let this business grow and I can kind of take a secondary position in it and help bring jobs in and watch the jobs work and how they're being done and make sure everything continues to stay up with the standards that we've put into the business. So Ben, from then to now, you've got some great projects in the shop as we are filming this. Look, talk to me about that beautiful car you got behind you. There is a Pontiac on the frame and then a street legal funny car. What's yeah. going on in the shop? Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, we, we have three complete builds we're doing in the shop right now. And the car that's behind me is a uh, 1972 Roadrunner. Um, it uh, was started before and not quite done the way that the customer wanted to have it done. So we're, we've built a new chassis for the car complete, bumper to bumper. Um, it's going to be a pro street car, um, 440 Chrysler motor in it, 727 automatic. Um, it will be a, a very nice car. It'll be turnkey when it leaves here from the shop. Big tire, 21533 tire underneath the back of it. Customers own this car for years and years and he just really wants to have a nice car. That's why it's here getting done. The 69 GTO convertible that's uh, on the other side of me here is belongs to an engineer out of Syracuse and he spent 15 years looking for a car. Um, he found the right car that he wanted and then spent a lot of time researching who he wanted to have it built by. So we're doing the car for him. He's hoping to take the car to SEMA next year. It's a full tube chassis car. I worked with Chris Alston in California for about a year. Um, and, and Chris and I worked together on developing the chassis for this car, how it was gonna be put together, what we were gonna do with the car. Um, 21 or 20 inch tires on the back, or wheels on the back to 19 wheels on the front. It's uh, got a, um, a pace performance engine going in it, which is a 625 horse. Um, a 427 motor, LS motor that's going in it with a, a five-speed transmission behind it. All custom built everything on this car. It'll be a beautiful, beautiful car when it's done. A customer is very supportive of it. He's up here all the time watching what we're doing with it and being involved in the project from soup to nuts. Then we get into the street legal funny car and it's pretty funny how we, how we got involved in that car. We were at uh, the Hamburg, we were at the Buffalo show at the, uh, uh, mo uh, the motor am in Buffalo and um, a couple of gentlemen come walking up to my one of my other cars that I had there at the track or at the um, at the show and it was my dark horse Mustang and they were like who built the car and I'm like we built it in our shop and oh, yeah, I'm asking questions about where it was built and who did it and how we came along with the car well apparently they had been looking for a funny car to add to their collection um, of cars and couldn't find anybody that would build it or find the right way to do it. They have three 69 Mach 1s right now. Two are original cars and one's a pro street car. And um, the second day they came back to the show, they were standing there and they said they spent the whole two days just looking at my car and said, could you build this car for us? And I said, what do you want? And they said, we want a street legal funny car. And I immediately I said, I I'm all in. I'm, this is my kind of thing. I love this kind of work. Yes, I'm all in on that. Well, when we started talking about building the car, um, Jim's a big boy, and uh, so is his, and, and his brother Ted is, is smaller, so they're totally different in size. And Jim has a uh, shoulder span of 44 inches when he's sitting relaxed and 28 inches when he's in a driving position. So we had to make this car fit a very big guy and also fit his brother. Now, we had the motor done for it. They're going to race, they're going to drive this car on the street um, just to go to shows and things. Uh, we've made the body on actuator so it will lift and raise with a key fob from inside. It's got a 518 cubic inch big block Ford motor. 
um, and that that was uh, sourced out to another shop. White Speed did the did the engine for us, and um, we built everything else, chassis from scratch, d doing all the body. We'll do all the graphics, do all the finishing work on it, put it all together, and it has to be ready to leave the shop here. Um, the end of this uh, February because it's going to the Hamburg show down in Buffalo to be debuted up down there. So, well, Ben, look, thank you for the time and the access. You've got a great facility here. You've got some cool projects going on. I can't help but wonder if that Mustang will, funny car will actually have air conditioning. That would be even more interesting <laughs> to see. Ben, look, keep up the good work and thank you for allowing Monday Morning Racer to come in. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it.